The Harbor Point Gardens landlord pled guilty to seven counts today, all having to do with the exterior walls, the reason why the city evacuated people from the apartment complex. The apartment's landlord, 182 Delaware LLC, appeared in court early this morning pleading guilty to violations of the property maintenance code. Each of the counts carries a $1,000 penalty, the max judgment on each of the seven charges they pled guilty to. A statement from Harbor Point Gardens read, Today's hearing marked another milestone to the end of this unfortunate incident. We are pleased that our residents have all been able to return to Harbor Point. Our commitment to enhancing and renovating the property remains unwavering, and we are optimistic about our continued efforts with the city of Troy to transform Harbor Point into an exceptional residential community. Frank Senato, a spokesperson for the city of Troy, hopes today's court proceeding brings some semblance of justice to impacted families. Nothing is going to take back what the families have experienced in the last few months, but we're proud of this guilty verdict. It shows that we take this very seriously and it's a message to other landlords to take care of their properties. Five other charges were adjourned, but more fines could come in the future. They have to do with other minor damages found throughout the complex, like cracked windowsills and loose railings. 182 Delaware LLC has six months to fix those damages. An attorney for the company believes most have been fixed at this point and is confident all will be fixed by the deadline. If those violations are not fixed, the company can end up back in court and potentially face additional fines. We've been working hand in glove with them, uh, making sure that our code enforcement officers are available to oversee the project uh, and make sure that um, this is being done smoothly. After that July 4th weekend, we really wanted to make sure that uh, there's a level of accountability there. Reporting in Troy, Karina Dominguez, News 10 ABC.